Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be discussing the hormones that are produced by the anterior pituitary gland. So let's get started. So there are seven main hormones that are produced in the anterior pituitary gland that are then released into the bloodstream. These seven hormones are follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, adrenal corticotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, prolactin, endorphins, and growth hormone. I'm going to be discussing each of these hormones and describing the role they play. But just quickly, a good mnemonic to remember these hormones is flat peg. Just take the first letter of each hormone and that mnemonic will come in handy. We're going to begin with follicle stimulating hormone, which plays different roles in males and females. In males, follicle stimulating hormone will control the production of sperm in the process known as spermatogenesis. On the other hand, in females, FSH is going to stimulate the growth of eggs. So as you can see, FSH plays a really important role in both males and females. Next, we have luteinizing hormones. In males, luteinizing hormone is going to allow for the production of testosterone, whereas in females, it's going to induce ovulation and help control the menstrual cycle. And just as a side note, both FSH and LH are really important when it comes to the menstrual cycle. Next up, we have adrenal corticotropic hormone, which is abbreviated to ACTH. This hormone plays a key role in synthesizing and releasing glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex. Good example of a glucocorticoid is cortisol, and glucocorticoids are really important in our response to stress. Next, we have thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, thyroid stimulating hormone is going to synthesize and release triiodothyronine and thyroxine. Those are better known by T3 and T4. Now, T3 and T4 are really important for functions and metabolism and development, which is why it's very important for thyroid stimulating hormone to be working properly. Next, we have prolactin, which is going to stimulate mammary glands in order to produce milk. A good way to remember this one is to look at the lact in the name, and that'll pretty much give it away. Next, we have endorphins, which are going to inhibit the perception of pain and increase feelings of pleasure. Lastly, we have growth hormone, which is very important for increasing growth in both bone and muscle. Additionally, it also helps increase glucose concentration in the body as needed. So, in total, we have seven main hormones that are produced by the anterior pituitary gland. Remember to use this mnemonic to help you memorize them. I hope this video on the hormones of the anterior pituitary gland was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you.